welcome to Behind the Stunts. I'm John Alty. Thanks very much indeed for joining me once again. Um, when I plan these shows, you, you, I do the best to plan them a couple of weeks in advance so I have an idea of, of what's coming up and what's uh, expected over the next few weeks or so. Um, and every once in a while, uh, Mother Nature decides to throw a curved ball at you from left field. And it's been some week. I must admit, um, uh, at the start of the week, uh, we lost um, Lewis Collins, who for many, uh, apart from being a very fine actor, um, was also the reason that they got involved in the industry in the first place. Uh, and I don't just mean the entertainment industry, I mean the stunt industry. Uh, Lewis Collins, um, famous for the professionals, many, many years successfully playing the part of Bodhi and I know that when I was a kid um, growing up we played the professionals I always wanted to be Bodhi because he was suave, he was sophisticated, he dressed very well he didn't have a perm um, which uh, Martin Shaw of course was sporting at the time as Doyle um, and he drove the Capri I mean I know that uh, Doyle drove a Capri as well but uh, Doyle mostly drove that um, escort of his and uh, you know it would it looked just the yeah, the capri was was something very special and in a lot of those sequences that you see in the professionals the series um, lewis does a great deal of that driving himself a great deal of driving himself um, so all of that taken into consideration and taken in hand by the legendary peter Brain. The late Peter Braham, who was responsible for all of the action on the Sweeney and, of course, on the professionals. Um, they could drive. Uh, Lewis uh, could drive. There was no two ways about it. Martin could drive. But they couldn't drive to the same sort of standard that Bodie and Doyle could drive. Um, Peter took them to one side and created uh, something very special and allowed them to just go a little further where the doubles would normally take over, they could go on doing continued in character, sliding the cars down the street, jumping over the bonnets, diving across the grass, making it look real. Then, of course, uh, later on in the week, uh, we received the news that we lost Paul Walker uh, in an accident uh, in Los Angeles. Paul, of course, famous for his role in the Fast and Furious movies, six very successful Fast and Furious movies, a uh, massive franchise. The seventh movie uh, was already in production. A large proportion of it had been finished already. Um, and then release of that project had been stalled, uh, understandably, uh, because of this terrible accident. Um, to lose your life, as Lewis Collins did um, at the age of 67, uh, to cancer is bad enough. Um, but to lose it at 40 in an accident um, is just terrible. I mean, he leaves a 15-year-old daughter and uh, 
many, many memories. I know that there have been many, many memories and comments with reference to people who have worked with Paul over the years uh, in the Fast and Furious pictures as on the stunt team there. And the one thing that links the two of them, that links Paul Walker and that links Lewis Collins, is that regardless of what the production was, regardless of who the individuals were, everybody right across the board have said that these were two of the nicest guys you could ever want to meet. A lot has changed. You're right. We find them, we take them as a team, and we bring them back. coordinated drivers took down a military convoy I need your help Dom you got the best crew in the world standing right in front of you we need full pardons all the way around take it or leave it breathe with me we talking vehicular warfare this is not what we do uh guys uh, they got a tank damn I can reach out and break you whenever I want. That's dangerous talk. We've graduated to a whole new level. Um, and so to kind of wrap up, really, this is the part of the show where we would normally have a classic sequence um, and because we've lost two uh, these two guys this week we're going to show you a classic clip from each of them I think that's fair um, we'll start with Lewis first and who dares wins um, a terrific movie if you've never seen it um, I think it was called the final option um, in the rest of the world, certainly in Europe, it was called Who Dares Wins. It is a story of uh, a group of terrorists from the People's Lobby who take over an embassy and hold it to ransom. It is based, uh, as I said earlier, on the uh, Iranian embassy siege of 1980. Lewis plays Captain Peter Skellen of the SAS, their motto, of course, Who Dares Wins. Um, Numerous action sequences throughout the entire picture. Um, this I've chosen this because it's one of my favourites. Uh, the only reason, really, um, it is a really a good example of Lewis doing as much of the action as he physically can. He has doubled twice in this sequence. You're going to see, uh, and he's doubled by Martin Grace. Um, once again, sadly, no longer with us. Uh, but Martin Grace doubled him, Roger Moore's chief double for many years, of course, on the Bond movies, uh, crashing through the glass coffee table and then being thrown over the sofa. You'll see that. Have a look at this. A great fight. Hi there. Oh my God! Get up, I get it all fucking 
kill you. You bastards. Come on, you son of a bitch. Get up. Well, that evens things up. You can get up now, sweetheart. And a kick in the stones to finish. Uh... Nasty, it'll bring tears to anybody's eyes. Good fight, that. I mean, that's uh, stunt coordinator was Bob Simmons, of course. Um, uh, classic Bob Simmons fight. Lots of breakaway furniture, um, left, right, and centre. So terrific stuff. And uh, Lewis doing a great deal of that himself. Um, and Paul, of course. Well, you know, for me, uh, it's it's that tank sequence from Fast Six. It's just sublime. There is so much going on. He does a lot of the driving himself. Yes, he does. Um, he doesn't do all of the driving himself, but he does a, a, as, as much as is physically possible. Um, so we're going to take a look at that sequence because that really is the bee's knees as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is terrific. And driving that blue Escort, um, particularly the end sequence here, which is just wonderful. Have a look at this. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Um, Mark Newman making the transfer there from tank to uh, escort. I mean, just wonderful stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Um, right, that's us for this particular week. Um, not a normal show, I know, but we will be back to normality next week. All being well. Um, and uh, it just leaves me to say that our thoughts and prayers are with Lewis's family and with Paul's family. Um, and with all of the people who they have worked with over the years who have not only been colleagues but have been friends, our deepest sympathies and our love and prayers to all of you. And we'll see you all again next week. Thanks very much indeed for watching and bye-bye for now.